Welcome to Office 365. Your education institution has or will soon upgrade from LiveD to you to Microsoft Office 365, and there are a few changes we'd like to tell you about. With LiveD to you, you had one account that was used for your email, SkyDrive, and Messenger. After your institution upgrades to Office 365, you'll have two separate accounts, one for SkyDrive and Messenger, soon to become Skype, and another that you'll use for email and other Office 365 features like SharePoint and Link. Let's look at how this works. Here's Sarah. Sarah's school recently upgraded to Office 365. Before the upgrade, Sarah used one username, sarah at contoso.edu, and password to access her school email, SkyDrive, Messenger, and other Microsoft services. Now that Sarah's school has upgraded to Office 365, she has two separate accounts a personal Microsoft account that contains all or existing SkyDrive and Messenger data, and an Office 365 account that contains all our email, calendar, and contacts information. You'll notice that after the upgrade, both accounts have the same username and password. Sarah's Microsoft account is now managed by her and not her educational institution. So when she wants to access SkyDrive and other Microsoft services, she'll go to skydrive.live.com. Here, she can also change or reset her password. Because this is now her personal account, she gets to keep it even after she leaves the school or graduates. Now, let's look at that second account. Sarah's Office 365 account is managed by her educational institution. This is where she'll find her email, calendar, and contacts, as well as other Office 365 services like SharePoint and Link. She'll use the same username and password that she did before the upgrade, and she can access her email using the URL provided by your institution or by going to mail.office365.com. One final tip. Remember, at the time of the upgrade, both your accounts will have the same username and password. However, as you change a password on one account, they will no longer match as they are two completely separate accounts. Thanks for your time, and we hope you enjoy using Office 365.